All right, guys, hey, I'm uh, visiting my buddy Johnny. Let me tell you, it's not a fun place, but Johnny, he's done a little collage. You see, he's done a little collage. He's got the little doggies. Isn't it cute? Huh? Isn't it cute? Now I'm going to go see. He's, he's one of those positive prick friends of mine. Always tell me to persevere and never give up. He's a prick, but I'm going to go see him. All right, guys, I am with uh, my friend Johnny over here, and uh, this is one of my positive prick friends. You know, one that always tells me to persevere and never give up. You know, I really like this guy, and uh, I'm here with, uh, on the 26th of December, 2015, hanging around with my little Johnny. And Johnny's going to tell me another positive story today. Hey, I just want to remind you, remember when we were roommates? <laughs> it was, he's already laughing. Anyway, we're roommates, and it's got to be August, if I remember correctly. It's about 92 degrees, and I got to train. I'm getting ready for surgery, so I'm figuring... I'm going to do whatever I can. So I, I get some resistance bands. I put them on the back of a trailer hitch uh, just to work some chest. And I'm out there working real hard. And then Mark comes out to just motivate and encourage me. So I think I'm really doing something. I got a little bit of a pump on. I've dieted down. I'm looking pretty good. And there's this little boy and his mom walking by across the street. <laughs> And what does the little boy say? You got to love the innocence and the lack of PC politically correct. And the little boy says, oh, look at that handicapped man over there trying to work out. Needless to say, I was slightly deflated. This guy here in the canary shirt says, oh, my gosh, you poor son of a gun. But anyway, in the midst of it, we laughed. We had a good time. And we realized that no matter what, we're going to do our best, no matter what the circumstances are. And I think that's the way you have to look at life. Most people, they'll go through a trial in this life and they get overwhelmed by the forest instead of looking at each tree and making each chop count. So that's my encouragement to you today is to do that. Don't get overwhelmed. Give each day your absolute best. And if you have uh, the uh, opportunity and ability to be blessed to work with Mark, he's the kind of guy that will help you get there. All right. Lots of love. God bless. Bye-bye. You see what I got to deal with? These types of positive prick friends. Love you, Johnny. You're my best friend. Love you too, brother. All right, guys. Uh, I'm still with Johnny over here, and things are getting real serious. Johnny, tell me, what is what are the last words of wisdom you've got for me today? Well, th listen, I, I want you guys to understand something. It's so important to be upbeat and uplifting. This guy has been optimistically pessimistic the whole time. And when he puts his hand down on my rail, the button he presses brings the bed down. So that just goes to show you, stay positive and you'll be a lot more uplifting because I'm tired of having him raise the bed because he keeps bringing it down. So stay positive no matter what the circumstances.